Yeah. 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 Yeah.
hope you enjoyed that very cool walk through the Brickman Jurassic Park experience that's currently running in Melbourne from now till the 31st of May. So I brought my daughter there, um, I think on day one or day two of the public show. And first things first, I will say it is a very expensive outing. So tickets for adults are $35. Um, if you're a kid between three to 15, it'll cost you $25. And if you are a student, pensioner, senior, or have some form of concession card, it's $27.50. Families can get a family ticket, which is $95, which lets you get two adults and two kids or one adult and three kids. Pretty expensive for, I think, what is essentially an hour, maybe two hours max if, you're, if, you're, if your kids really kind of stay and do all the building activities. If you've seen through the walkthrough, um, the, first of all, the models are really impressive, very large scale, very highly detailed, very nicely sculpted dinosaurs from Jurassic Park and Jurassic World. So you get to see Bluey, uh, Bluey, oh my god, Blue, not Bluey, Bluey's a cartoon dog. Blue, the T-Rex, and there's some really cool, I, I really like the Mosasaurus mosaic, and personally, I think the, my favourite part was actually the big, Duplo sauropod. I'm not sure if it's a Brachiosaurus or Brontosaurus or whatever, but that was cool. I like the I like the um, the way it was designed so that you kind of focus on the bottom half of it and you had the tail and the head sticking out at different places. That was really nice. I really enjoyed that entire walkthrough. And you had those like dinosaur eggs and baby dinosaurs at the bottom, which I really liked. I think for this this is really at the end of the day, this is really meant for parents and kids. If you have a kid who is super into dinosaurs and super into Lego, they will have a great time. Um, there are plenty of activity stations and building sections where you're encouraged to do fun little activities such as building a dinosaur footprint out of Lego, building like bugs and mosquitoes and all sorts of uh, building stations. So um, there are plenty of places where kids can interact and build with bricks. But you know, if you have, if you have a lot of Lego at home, one can question the, um, you know, why you'd go there and build with Lego bricks. But then again, lots of fun. Kids love it. If your kid is a big dinosaur fan, um, they'll definitely love it. And um, it, was, it was cool to see all sorts of little kids kind of rattling off dinosaur names there, which was, which was great. For adults, I would say the appeal is slightly less... Um, it's slightly less appealing because A, it's expensive and there's not a lot to see, um, especially if you're not planning on doing all the um, building activities. Um, the, large scale, the large scale builds are quite nice and impressive, but it really kind of moves away from Brickman's signature, you know, <clears throat> big minifigure scale dioramas where there are plenty of funny little Easter eggs and little references peppered throughout. These are like the stars of the show are mostly the big dinosaur builds. You walk through the entire thing and it'll take you, if you're an adult, it'll take you say 30 minutes max, inclusive of photos and videos to share on social media. The end is kind of cool and the end is really kind of curated for and designed with social media in mind. You get to the end, you get to the awesome brick built Jurassic Park Jeep with the T-Rex chasing the background. You pose for a selfie, you pose for a photo with the T-Rex, you pose with the Jurassic Park and you have a great memento of your day. But for $35 a ticket for an adult, you're probably better off just going to your local Lego show. The builds are probably a lot more interesting and varied and you also get to support your local lug. But if you have a ton of disposable income and want to take some awesome shots for social media, then yes, this is for you. If you're a parent and you have kids who are super into dinosaurs, they'll have a great time, you'll have a great time. And, but again, the ticket price, pretty, pretty expensive. So I'm kind of um, umming and eyeing about the value. I paid for my tickets and I, I just felt it was a bit too expensive for what you actually got. Um, cool, that's it for my thoughts of the Brickman Jurassic Park experience. It's currently running in Melbourne till the 31st of May. You can get tickets online. Thanks, I'll see you in the next one.